Hi guys, if you're getting this explorer.exe system error, the system detected an overrun of stack based buffer, an error like this, then I'll show you the how to fix it. What you have to do, first of all, uh, a basic you know fix is that just go to settings, click on update and security, and check for updates. And if there are any updates, just update your computer. So that's the first fix which you have to try. Now the second fix is just search CMD in the command prompt uh, in the Windows 10 search box. Right click and run as administrator. Now when the command prompt window open up, you have to run these two commands. This is the standard command for you know restoring you know uh, system errors, uh, fixing system errors and restoring health. Uh, you can find it on the Maxis website also. I'll just put it in the description of the video given below. You can copy it from there. So let's run these command one by one. First of all this, it will take some time. Now it says that operation has completed successfully. Now we'll run the second command. Hit enter. Now it will also take some time. Let's wait for it. It has completed successfully. And most probably this uh, you know problem will not return this error will not return but if this persists there is one more method full put method which works in most of the cases that is uh, just search regedit in the search box of windows 10 just click on registry editor to open registry editor now in the registry editor you have to go to this location hkey current user software microsoft windows current version and explorer okay I pasted this path also in the description of the video given below. You can copy it from there. Just reach to this path. Now, once you are here in the explorer, now just search banner store. Okay. Banner store. Okay. Uh, now, what you have to do is to just rename it to something uh, like banner store old. But before renaming, it's a very good practice to take a backup of the registry so that if anything bad happens we can restore it to the original version so just click on file click on export okay and take a backup of the registry file backup.reg okay save so that if anything bad happens just click on file and import the old registry file now just right click and rename it to something like banner store old okay now close this registry editor and reboot the computer and your problem will get fixed so that's it guys please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching